I'm showing you here an articulated manipulator that I've built on my board. And I want you to notice with this articulated manipulator that it is possible for me to move these joints in such a way that the end effector hits the table. Now we would like to avoid this happening. Unfortunately, I don't directly have control over the position of the end effector. Instead, what I directly have control over is the individual angles of each of these joints. When I send a command from my controller, the command that I send is setting the angle of each of these joints. Today, we're starting to work on a robotics problem called forward kinematics. The problem of forward kinematics is how can I find the location in space of the end effector given the angles of each of the individual joints? If I can do that, if I can find the location of the end effector given the angles of the joints, I can avoid sending a command to each of my servos that will place the end effector in a position I don't want, such as colliding with the table. The key to finding the location of the end effector, given the angles of the joints, is a special kind of a matrix called the homogeneous transformation matrix. The homogeneous transformation matrix is a kind of a matrix that has four rows and it has four columns and this matrix encodes two important things about our manipulator. This area right here which is 3 by 3 tells us the rotation of one frame in our manipulator relative to another frame. This vector here, which has three rows and one column, it tells us the displacement of one frame relative to another frame. The rest of the homogeneous transformation matrix is easy. It's just three zeros and a one, which we fill in to make the matrix square, so four by four. Once we figure out the rotation matrix and the displacement vector, we have everything we need to know in order to figure out where the end effector is for any combination of angles of our joints. In the next video, we're going to focus on how to find this rotation matrix for two frames in our kinematic diagram. Then, the video after that will focus on how to find this displacement vector for two frames. Finally, we'll look at some examples of how to put together the complete homogeneous transformation matrix and use it to find the location of our end effector.